What I am about to tell you has to be one of the most horrific things I have ever witnessed in my life. When I was in Bagram in 2002, US soldiers brought in a young Afghan taxi driver. He was just 22 years old. His name was Dilawar, may Allah have mercy on him. He was brought in just for four days before the end of Ramadan. For four days, he was chained to the ceiling by his wrists. I saw his body slump after being in this state for so long. We were in the same cell together, but instead of giving him the help he needed, the soldier started to punch and kick his shackled and hooded body. Each time the US soldiers would beat him, he would cry, Ya Allah, Ya Allah. This amused them so much, so they took turns kicking him and beating him to him seeking Allah's help until he was killed. In the autopsy report, when the doctor examined him, she said that had he survived, his leg would have required amputation and that it had looked as if his leg had been run over by a bus. Dilawar was his name and he was killed while saying the name of Allah by American soldiers in Ramadan. This reminds me of the story of Haram ibn Milhan, one of the 70 memorizers of the Quran sent by the Prophet wasallam to teach others the word of God. He was treacherously speared in the back and as he was struck, he said these famous words, Fustu warabbil Kaaba, I have won by the Lord of the Kaaba. And because of his sincere belief that he had paid the price for which Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala gave him paradise. May Allah forgive and accept Dilawar in the highest levels of paradise.